from Zelda. Battle of the Specials. Maybe is the Six Master will like be more attack heavy, like attack aggro. Tilts and aerials. I, I think, think if, Zelda uh, though. Uh... I think if the Six Master gets hit with a couple of sweet spot forwarders and bears, he's gonna pull back. We'll uh, I'm just thinking of, I'm just thinking of how Zelda works in conjunction with Pac-Man. Like the way that Pac-Man wants to set up the hydrant looks really difficult to do when Zelda's using the knight half the time. Yeah, that's why I think like we're gonna see. I mean, the Six Master already plays aggressive for a pack, especially for a Pac-Man. But I think in this instance, like a lot of the fruits or keys or even the bells are not going to be of use if uh, ice is kind of mashing the neutral B. Yeah, yeah. You already saw, you already saw it there. Like the way that Six Master even started the match, he's just immediately running at him with the dash attack. Like he's not even trying to set up the projectiles. I'm trying to two frame with the S smash too. Yeah, that does two from two. Crazy enough. <laughs> yeah, I think the aggressive play is uh is good. <laughs> it's good versus the way that Zelda wants to play. Yeah, I also think Six Master uh, will eventually pick up on the habit of how Ice likes to recover from ledge. I mean, we've seen earlier in the day just how much Ice likes to use the B. Like to get on stage, go off stage, be aggressive, to be tricky. Huh? Let's see how much you are, Shelly. Okay, landing the hydrant. 160% for ice. Oh, that was actually really smart. Use the hydrant to bounce onto the platform so it covered that option for recovery from the ledge. And then the apple below. That eliminated a lot of options for Zelda. And they picked up the stock <laughs> with the forward air. Okay, Six Master taking his time recovering back to the stage, sneaking in a forward air. Oh, getting the Galaga again. There's that pesky Nairu's love for ice. I'm expecting to see it a little bit more. Oh, th the aggressive recovery of Naru's uh, Ferrara's win. Okay, eliminating. Or throwing out more, more projectiles for that S smash. Going to pick up a stock. Very unsafe up B from Ice. It looks like Six Master starting to pick up on the timing of when uh, Ice is going to be using the, that tool. Roars win again, but this time Six Master able to make it back. F smash looked like the hydrant messed up the spacing on it though. All right, I'm back. People in my house are being really loud. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, Six Masters like play style in general just seems really good versus Zelda. Like if he was like a more like textbook super defensive Pac-Man, I could see this being much harder. But like he, he's literally just given ice very little time to even try to set up with the knight because he's like always in his face yeah uh the hydrant with an apple oh, oh the the best melon. <laughs> dude that's i've never seen that before oh the bell that was actually so good the z drop it, bell at the ledge to catch the neutral get up and the directional air dodge back just to like, be out of range if you do like a get up attack or something like that. Damn. That was clean. Yeah. 
the Six Master actually used a few different traps in this set or in game one that were pretty clever. I haven't really seen anyone utilize a apple to cover the stage and hydrant to cover the platform. Yeah, I wonder I wonder what Ice is gonna do here. I honestly can't think of any stage that he will go to that's uh better for him than it is for Pac-Man. You know what I mean? Uh, any type of stage Zelda benefits, I think Pac-Man just benefits just as much, if not better. That's true, but we did see Ice take uh, his previous opponent to Kalos, and it looks like he's doing the same thing here. He might just be more comfortable on Kalos. You know, comfort yeah. picks are very important in this game. Hopefully it's enough, because Six Master was really good on this stage in the Cure Flex set as well. Okay, starting to use that Nehru's Love to reflect the Hydrant a little bit more. Nice. Oh, you always gotta watch Pac-Man's landing though, because you can just drop that down B on you right when you think you're gonna get a juggle opportunity. Not to mention it just all in the air for a little bit. Ooh, the parry on the up B. Man, he's, he's super ready for that setup. Oh my wow. goodness, another Z drop fell. This time in spacing to cover roll two, it doesn't matter like, as soon as they connected six master throughout the down smash, it doesn't matter what side he actually ended up on. But great pick yeah. out from Ice. Landing yeah, that was a huge, air. that was a huge forward air out of shield. Cause like, normally that dash attack, especially when it crosses you up like that, he gets a free up B where it's like super hard to punish. But uh, he was able to find that forward air. Unfortunately, though, he's super close to dying already in spite of getting that really clean stock. Like, I don't know, Six Master just doesn't... He just doesn't slow down, man. He's not, he's not afraid of the Zelda at all. True. Look at that. Even using the multi-hit of the down air to push Ice back to the ground and then a B to, re to escape any pressure. Man, Pac-Man's oh. recovery. He can stall for so long. He completely avoided all those down air attempts, like... With very little difficulty whatsoever. Oh man. Yeah, the hydrants coming in clutch again, knocking uh, ice away from center stage. Oh, we're getting caught by the night. Oh no, he didn't get down there in time. He wanted to. Uh... Snipe him out of the trampoline before he could get the last bounce. Okay, nice. Finds a dense fire. Okay. Finally, he gets a lead for the first time in this set. Hopefully, he can build on it. Yeah, like, you know, like I was saying. Uh oh. Back throw might master. be enough. Wait, what? What happened there? Some good that was back weird. What happened? I see. Oh able my to god. Lit by the key. The super key snipe from halfway across the stage. Yeah, with how and just like that, that is, like it's almost invisible. You really gotta, you have to have known it was yeah. coming. And now, just like that, Ice's lead's gone. Yeah, but not, not too far behind. Essentially, even. Okay, again, using the Nehru's love to reflect the projectiles back just a little bit. I think what uh, Six is doing now, though, is he's like changing the timing that he throws the projectiles now to mess up the reflector from Ice. If anything, you, that would just make Ice use the reflector more. Okay, landing another hydrant. Oh, the. Gotta watch out for the Z drop. It's gonna throw it. Okay, he threw it. Okay, no time to get a hard punish there, though. Ooh, the big O smash barely lives that one. I think he might have the belt in his hand here. Oh my god, bad DI on that for there. He's only alive because he's at a lower percent. Yeah, making it back to stage. Oh, that was Just such a good edge smash. smash. That didn't work. Uh oh, this is scary for both players. Okay. Unfortunately, it's just that up B is gonna be the downfall of Ice. Yeah. 
Oh, no invincibility here? Oh, man, didn't matter. Really good punish. Hey, the full force of that goes. Six yeah. Going up yeah, he didn't want to re-grab the ledge because he had no invincibility, so held down to see if he can get like, uh, a poke on six master's shield or something like that. But uh, six just had the perfect timing on the up smash. But definitely like the Kalos pick uh, from Ice. Much closer. Thing. For going back. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he is wrong for going back here. He almost won. Hey, let's see. Let's see how it works out for Ice this game. If he can get a point on the board here. Definitely was really close in the previous game. Might be just getting a hang of how he should approach this matchup as Zelda. Nice. Nair into the night. Oh my goodness. Crazy, crazy, crazy status right now. He's a little bit too overzealous with the other bees on stage though, in my opinion. Uh, I, he just gets super punched for them so much that I don't think it's worth a lot of times. But there's one. Oh. Oh, he went for Nehru's. I thought that was going to be a free down air. Okay, Jason. Oh, really? Surprise, the war didn't come out. The Sixth Master didn't have the time. Oh, he, he baited that Nehru so hard. He knew he was gonna just panic, go for the reflector as soon as he had the projectile in his hand. Just wait it out. Dropping me down with a down air. And again, another a B, but wow, he just keeps doing it. Doesn't he doesn't even care if he gets punched for a thousand times. He's gonna keep up being in neutral until one of them hits. That's kind of unfortunate because like it's like almost reinforcing to keep doing it, right? Even if he does get punished 900 times, the the other 100 times that it works, like, it might have been a clutch moment. Yeah, it's just a, another factor of, like, Zelda just not having the best approach options or, like, easy ways to get the kill. So he just, it's very easy for a Zelda player to just tunnel vision on getting this random up B to connect, you know? Yeah, but that was a good reflector, sending the hydrant back, parrying the hydrant. Yeah, Six Master gets a lot of really good parries in general. It's very impressive, honestly. Oh, okay. That Not going to be enough to get the stock. Right, got the Galaga out. What's going to do? Oh, there's the bell. All right, yeah, and then you already know, Ice is just going to get that, that Nehru's out immediately. Doesn't want anything to do with it, but dang, that back throw still killed at that percent. 142. That sounds understandable. Sounds reasonable. Oh my god. It's a high percent. I'm just like, that Galaga did 38. <laughs> I mean, that's just standard Galaga. Oh my like, goodness. He's not even getting the max damage off of it either. It's still doing that much percent. Yep, two Galagas, 80%. Nice. Try to snipe with the Din's fire. Fortunately, for ice, just a little bit too late. Up the bell now. No, nope, he's not gonna get that back throw either. Oh no! So such a risky position to be in. Can yeah, I get the knight up? Oh, though. nice. He baited so him to jump there with the knight, and he just called him out with the up there. Yeah. Not only did he get rid of that rage that. Uh, six master really needed to hang on to, but also got rid of the bell in hand. So ice, you know, has another sec has a second chance at life. Essentially. God, these are bees so risky, but they're working out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what? I don't understand why you would keep doing it if it keeps getting you punished, but then it starts working. It's like, <laughs> why is this working? <laughs> he needs every little hit he can get, but the oh, oh rogue hydrant, another one. Working out for a six master coming in clutch. It's gonna take that one 3-0 over ice.
and going to find himself in the winner's finals. I think this is the second time he's in, in if not the second time he's been in winner's finals, but close to winner's finals. But he's been consistently doing really well in these tournaments with the Pac-Man. So, uh, yeah, good stuff to him. 3-0, not dropping any games. I definitely started to turn it up a little bit towards the end, but fortunately, just couldn't find a W there. Yeah, well, we may see Ice a little bit later on tonight. 